right, you you actually come from Pennsylvania, which is not correct me if I'm wrong, but it's not the most popular place for volleyball in in the states. So what happened? It's not. Um, there is a small little hot spot for volleyball in Pennsylvania. There's a small community, um, but it's mostly in California um, and other parts of the country. But I had some friends who played volleyball that I knew um, just growing up in my hometown. And they were like, hey, man, you're tall. Uh, we want you to come and you know try and hit a volleyball. Like, you play basketball, you look athletic, like, give it a try. Oh, man, I gotta, I'm not going to do that. And then over time, um, slowly they convinced me, and I came out. And the first time I hit a ball, I fell in love with the sport. It was exhilarating. That's why you moved to California? Yeah, for school, for university. Um, UCLA, uh, they wanted me to come play volleyball for them. Um, so I saw it as a great opportunity to go to the West Coast of the United States um, and live a different life over there. You know, it's a, it's a different place from Pennsylvania. Um, it's a completely new environment. So it was a chance for me to experience something new, uh, and I really enjoyed that. And you played in college over there. What is the, the level like? It's different. <clears throat> um, it's more uh, it's more physical. Guys jump high, they hit hard, um, but it's not so it's not so technical, you know. Um, the receivers in Europe, for example, are really strong. Uh, the defenders are really strong, and sometimes in college, um, those levels of the game aren't as high, uh, but they hit harder. Um, so that's kind of the difference there. Um, so it matched my style, and then having to come to Europe. Um, I had to kind of relearn how to play volleyball in some ways. In some ways it, it worked pretty well, right? Yeah, <laughs> I, I mean, I guess. We'll see. Um, there's still a long way to go and a lot of things to learn, a lot of lessons to learn and matches to play in. What was the most difficult to adapt to when, when, when you came here? The lifestyle. Um, it's a much different pace of life. It's more laid back. Um, it's, it's just different in like every way. And also the language. The language was something that was really difficult for me. Uh, my first year I played in Paris. Um, and not so many French people speak English. And if they do, um, it takes some time for them to bring it out. So I really felt like a fish out of water. Um, and just kind of a fly on the wall, you know, it was kind of awkward and didn't really like know what to do. What is your average week like now here in Mazeg? <laughs> Not much going on. Not much going on. Um, we have training in the mornings most days um, and also in the afternoons. So wake up, I eat my breakfast, um, watch some news, read some news, um, go to training, eat lunch. I mean, it's pretty boring, man. Like, I don't do much. Um, the corona makes it difficult, too, to travel and see things. So, do we finally know who the man behind the beer is? I mean... <laughs> Yeah, honestly. What kind, what kind of image do you conjure up? Um, with my beard or without? With, um, man, I don't know. I don't know that I necessarily think about an image. Um, just kind of always tried stuff out, you know, and I like the beard and um, I think it's here to stay for a little bit. But you never know, I might wake up one day and it might be gone and you'll get a new guy. <laughs> okay, I wish you the best of luck for the playoffs. Thank you.